When you're choosing clothes, are you going to buy wrong size clothes that aren't going to fit you? You're not going to do that, are you? Especially if it's a suit. T-shirts might be different. But when you're ordering suits or blazers, you're not going to wear completely the wrong size clothes. I think it's very important to choose something that is good for your body. It's an unusual analogy, but as the most successful player in the history of Asian golf, Tommy Nakajima knows why choosing the right golf club is so important. And this advice transcends to all levels of the game. It's important to choose the right club, as each golfer has different physical strengths. If they use a difficult and heavy club, they can't utilize the full function of the club. But if you use a club that is right for you, then you get the maximum ball speed and long distance. So it's very important that you choose the right club. So how do you know if you have the right club? There are numerous locations that analyze a golfer's swing using computer simulation. And it is with similar technology that SRI Sports have been developing their latest designs. In the past, we developed the products from the advice of the advanced or professional golfers, telling us how they should be. Today, we have progressive technology in engineering and when measuring. We can develop the product with a good idea of what is the engineering technology that we should use to produce it. That led to computer simulation, and by using that, we can understand more about things we did not know, and then we can develop much better products. The leading golf brand in Japan, SRI Sports is based in the cosmopolitan port city of Kobe. Since launching the Zexio range of clubs in 2000, they've taken the use of digital simulation to a new dimension. Computer simulation is where we can carry out the simulation test in the virtual space inside the computer. It is where you input the data into the computer and ask it to perform the test. That helps you to predict the performance without the actual product. So the benefit is when designing the product or before designing the product, we can predict what kind of performance we will get. In the past, testing had led the design process, but the launch of the new Zexio 7 series marked a historic moment. These clubs were developed solely using computer simulation, and only then did they inspect the performance by testing. And with the benefits of computer-aided design, this cycle of developing products will become the norm. There are many advantages offered by the computer simulation. Firstly, we can get detailed information on the very short moment of impact. We can stop and look in detail at this very critical moment. We can look at it, enlarge it, and get inside of it, as it were. That is one of the biggest benefits of a technology. Another thing is that using the figures and calculations, we can assess materials which are not presently in use in our designs. We can test them and can predict what kind of performance we can get using those. So if we can get a good performance, we can then try to create the material and structure. It allows us the opportunity to step into the future as it were. That is another big attraction of it. Computer simulation is a very effective tool, but if it doesn't match with the club's performance in reality, then it's meaningless. For this reason, the testing process is vital in providing the actual data. The process of testing allows us to actually analyze the structure the developer intended. It's a very important role. By using the figures about the reduction on impact from the different points of view with the structure the designer intended and the end result of how the ball will fly can all be connected. We are like the pipeline that connects the original design that the developer intended to the result of how the ball flies. I believe we have a very important role making sure this happens. SRI Sports first used robots to test their designs back in the 1960s and opened their golf science centre in 1994. The centre helped speed up the development of new clubs 
by flight testing in all weather conditions. By analysing the velocity, launch angle and spin ratio, they can feed data back to the designers. The processing capabilities of the cameras and the speed of the sensors are getting faster all the time. Whereas in the past, it took a long time to collect all the data, even for one ball. But now, we can get many different sorts of data instantly. That immediacy is very helpful. Furthermore, the machine has been developed to enhance its measurement of distance. We can use all those new measuring machines to collect all sorts of different and helpful data. Zexio make improvements based on the BCS theory, or ball club swing. Analyzing the relationship between these elements is vital to designing a club that not only hits further, but maintains the concept of an easy swing. For this most important part, Zexio 7 tested around 200 amateur golfers to gather the data. We are aiming at developing a club that even the amateur golfers can hit a long distance. The thing we cannot know, even with the machine test, is the feeling that the golfers have. So we listen to the opinions of the amateur golfers so that we can go and develop a product which is easier to hit and is easier to swing. Because it is slightly shorter, it's easier to swing and this helps achieve more flip on the ball. I feel the speed of the ball is faster and also the sound when hitting the ball is very good and nice sound. I've always had the impression that Zexio is an easy club to swing, but especially with this model. When I hit the ball, I felt like the club adjusted itself to find my sweet spot, so I could hit it very confidently. Zexio's new 7th edition has produced phenomenal results. Using unique dual speed technology, the club is lighter with a deeper centre of gravity. All this creating lower spin and an increased distance of 7 yards. Computer simulation is breaking down the barriers and the possibilities are endless. We can find out which club the golfers currently want to use by researching. But when developing a product, we have to think about what golfers would like to use in one year and two years' time. It's very difficult to predict the future. That is the point, that it is very difficult for planning and developing the product.